Hey, it's Emma, super sensitive human, and I thought I would give you a life update because I haven't been filming that much. If you haven't heard from somebody in a while, they're probably doing very good and there's too much going on for them to fill you in or there's nothing going on and they're not in a good mood and they don't have anything to say. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, it's uh, more of the latter. I haven't been in a very good mood and that kind of makes you like not want to film yourself. You just don't feel very articulate and attractive and uh, are distracted with trying to manage yourself. So that's what's been going on for me. Um, it's kind of out of the blue, like there's no real reason that I can discern. I think there's always a reason for everything, but there's no reason that I know of. I just sort of like two and a half weeks ago started uh, getting into a weird mood and um, haven't been able to break out of it even though I've been <laughs> running through all the strategies. Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Um, as far as my general life is going, I um, have been trying to get a new car, sell the truck, because the truck is just too fumey for me. It's never going to not be fumey, I don't think. I just need a newer vehicle that's not carbureted, that uh, has a better exhaust and a better sealing of the cabin and all that. That's been a bit of an ordeal. I have test driven a um, couple RAV4s, a Chevy Avalanche truck, a uh, Lexus SUV, a uh, Ford Mustang convertible. I'm really open to any kind of vehicle. It just has to be the right exact vehicle for me. And so far, nothing has seemed like the right one. First of all, it has to not smell, so that rules out a lot of cars because uh, you just uh, open the door and they smell like uh, fragrance and um, you can't get that stuff out easily. Uh, it'll last for a while. I have my, my clothes and blankets that I had in um, Venice Beach in the hotel room are still contaminated. I've washed them like five times. I've dunked them in tanks of algae water to let them sit and sort of rot out a little bit. <laughs> See if the bacteria will eat the fragrance. Didn't, didn't work. Um, set them out in the sun for, in the rain. Not that we have a lot of rain here. Mostly the sun for weeks at a time. Hasn't helped. So, uh, not gonna try and get a car that smells and then remove the smell that's a big gamble and uh, some of them smell like new car scent and the the materials not just artificial air freshener so they can't be too new so that's that's just the first concern second of course it has to be reliable third a nice style is nice I get suspicious when I don't hear Mercy and I wonder what she's up to. Hopefully not jumping on strangers is my only concern. As far as romance and dating and uh, friends, there's nothing going on. I just realized the other day that I am not talking to anyone right now. Not at all. <laughs> no texts in, in weeks. Uh, no long distance friendships, no in-person friendships, nothing. But obviously whatever was going on before wasn't that uh, big of a deal because I barely even noticed the difference. The only time I notice, I, I specifically get annoyed that I don't have any friends, local friends, is when I need help with something, 
which doesn't seem like a very good motivation. It's like when I need to like want to buy something that I wouldn't be able to move on my own or um, need a ride because my car is broken again. I uh, get really irritated that I don't have any local friends, but uh, mostly mostly I don't notice. I do want a partner like in my fantasy had I definitely always think about having a boyfriend and long for one and it's like my ideal future but as far as like the reality of it like actually like going on dates and um, actually getting to know somebody is uh, maybe not that enticing for me. Uh, I guess I've been in a lot of bad relationships and stressful, abusive relationships and uh, just the ones where I didn't really feel that valued, somebody didn't want to open up to me, things like that. So it's like uh, my template for what it's actually like. Uh, is very stressful <laughs> and that's kind of a deterrent and I'm also like feel like I could entertain myself for a really long time like I like the idea of there being people around but I don't want to live in a situation like a last man on earth situation where everybody's just um, gone but I like the idea of being able to like interact with them if I want to or like hypothetically in the future when I'm feeling better but like I could definitely go for I could see myself in like living alone on an island where like all my mail gets delivered to me by boat kind of thing and feel like I could live like that for years without really uh, being any different than my life has been in the last four years I basically have lived in uh, remote areas on a island that's of my own making. I feel like I can entertain myself for a long time with my little biohacking experiments and making movies and playing music and I'd never run out of, I never, I never really get bored or run out of things to do and think, man, I'd really like to be hanging out with somebody right now. I think, man, I would really like to be healthy and want to hang out with somebody right now, <laughs> but I actually don't. It's my hypothetic, hypothetically, I would like to like to. Uh, and I also, I feel overwhelmed all the time. Like, I feel like I don't even, where would this person, this, this uh, boyfriend even fit in my life? It's probably not that logical of a conclusion because uh, having a partner they could be with me right now walking the dog with me or they could uh, you know be we could they could make dinner one day and I could make dinner the next day so I would actually like have more time than making dinner every day for myself or that kind of thing um, but a lot of times I feel super overwhelmed even though um, I don't have a job and I'll be off my schoolwork for like big breaks between uh, semesters and I uh, still feel like there's never enough time to do everything. The house is always dirty. It's been dirty for three years, more dirty than I would like it to be. It's uh, there's always this big list and this big stack of things to do and uh, maybe some of them some some person can help me with and uh, maybe some of them they can't. I think that probably the biggest advantage would be that I might be uh, in a better mood if I was in love and <laughs> getting laid then then everything would be more happy to do. I'd be uh, going about my chores waiting for the moment when this uh, objective affection was to come back to me. I have, I would have more uh, just dopamine in my brains. 
so uh, as far as the chamber, the oxygen, hyperbaric oxygen chamber, um, I'm still using it, but what happened was my back pain. I started to kind of had this back pain before I even got the chamber. And then I started using it a lot and my back pain was getting really exacerbated from lying down. And so after a while, the chamber was just making it really bad. Like I'd just go in there for just half an hour and get out and my back would hurt for the rest of the day. So I was really starting to have a avoidance of wanting to go in the chamber and uh, I have been able to go in it a few times without back pain after backing off but I'm still like not using it as much as I was. I also think that it's not um, motivating as it once was because when I first started going in it I was getting a lot of energy from it and uh, noticing a real boost from it so it was like a drug it was like addictive I wanted to go in there some more and uh, now I am not getting that for some reason I don't think it's because I'm using it less I might have just reached like a different level of my healing where it just did one thing and now it's doing another thing maybe it, I'm uh, getting uh, sort of calmed calm down into a parasympathetic mode and I just want to sleep all the time or something now don't know maybe I'm detoxing from having used the chamber for a while healing crisis hard to say it's one of my theories cuz uh, what's happening is I it all started just one day when um, my hands started to hurt and feel achy and arthritis-y like through, throughout this area and my mood went bad on the same day and that's kind of been going on ever since then for about two and a half weeks and so I don't know if it's a physical imbalance or the pain is related to a, a mental Thing because I do get more like weird um, I call it the snaky feeling or like uh, the creepy crawlies like I'll feel like very agitated in my arms or different parts of my body and I will also feel agitated in my brain at the same time and sometimes if I get agitated thoughts it'll start to like bring on the creepy crawlies so uh, I don't know what's <laughs> going on there but it makes me feel crazy and I feel I get all these like repetitive images of like slitting my throat or slitting my arms because not because I'm suicidal or a cutter but because there's like that feeling like if you there's like bad bad energy or bad blood and if you could just let it seep out it would feel so much better um, <laughs> so that it's like a relaxing it's like a relaxing image to like imagine my blood pouring out but it's uh it just comes you know it's like a tick like a Tourette's or something I don't mean to imagine that it's just like I feel this feeling and I get that image and it just uh my brain just keeps thinking the same thing a lot of my time lately has been trying to figure that out and what's going on and I stopped all my supplements for a little while because I didn't know if I'd be, I was getting imbalance from one of them and uh, nothing happened so I restarted them kind of one by one. I um, did uh, mental, mental work like journaling like trying to get to the root causes of this and like negative thought write down a positive thought like have a negative thought write down the opposite and try and um retrain my brain that way i uh have you know experimented with not using the chamber using the chamber again for longer times although i haven't really gotten around to like using it like four hours like i was in the beginning um 
my max lately has been like an hour and 20 minutes before I start to get worried that it's hurting my back and get out. Uh, tried exercise and yoga, tried uh, adding in electrolytes and minerals because usually when my hands ache in that arthritis sort of way, there's something going on with like my mineral balance from something I'm doing like chelation or um, like going ketogenic diet, but I haven't been doing that either of those things so I don't know why it would happen this time but I was trying to do the minerals anyway and uh maybe they're helping but my mood's still bad so so I really don't know but it's very distracting it feels like I have a uh, bad blood bad badness inside of me is how I describe it I uh I always feel that way like to, you know a certain extent like maybe a three out of ten but you know say this is like a seven out of ten so I can't uh, go about my day as normal without uh, being compelled to solve it and uh, yeah I, you know I try meditating just sitting sitting with the feeling and uh, seeing if it shifts or that way seeing if any uh, intuitive root cause comes to me, but so far no success with that. So that's my life, mostly uh, car shopping and focusing on my wellness and continuing to work in the garden, which I enjoy and find soothing. Sometimes I don't do it for a while, and then when I do it again, I'm like, you know, I really live like gardening. I also feel though, like uh, gardening is a good hobby, but I don't think it's what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. What I'd like to do with my life, well, that's a topic for another video. Um, so that's what's going on with me. And uh, my advice to you, viewers, is don't try to give me any advice right now because people who've been sick and struggling for a long time really don't appreciate any new suggestions. They've already are trying it all. They have tried it all in the past. What I appreciate is uh, kind, supportive words. Um, you know, if you want to help, you can make a donation. There's links under the description that will help me to uh, keep creating content. And, you know, if you have something actual, tangible for me, an opportunity or that kind of thing, what, I don't know, like moving here or going on a date with this person or... Uh, you know, you want to send me your favorite magnesium in the mail, or you're a healing, you're an intuitive, uh, medical intuitive, and you uh, want to give me a free reading. I'll accept that kind of stuff for the most part, or at least consider it. But I'm saying, if you tell me, um, you know, to take, uh, have you had your vitamin D checked? Have you been checked for mold? Do you have Lyme disease? Blah, 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 blah. Believe me, I've already done it. I've already considered it and uh, whatever whatever you're gonna say is uh, probably not gonna be groundbreaking or life-changing <laughs>